Hello, welcome back to uh, Max class. So I'm taking a grade two CBSE syllabus. Okay. So in my last class itself, I have told you about what we are going to see on the next class. What is the topic? Can you all remember what is that? Yes, we have seen about the time, isn't it? So in my last class itself, I gave a small introduction about the time. So time means we not going to see the how to uh, see the time on a clock or how to see uh, how to calculate a digital clock. No, we 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 will see that, but we'll, it's a take some days. Okay. So before that, the time is not related only with the minutes, seconds, minutes, and hours. It's related to the days weeks months and years so why i am saying a time is related to days weeks and months and year because the time not only the time have only a 24 hours once the 24 hours pass the next days comes if next two days once the 24 hours completed next a new one day will come so when the times go on when the times moves the days also get moves when the days get moves the weeks also get moves when the weeks gets moves the months gets moves the months also will get moves once the months moves the years will also moves once the months january if you finish then go to the february march april may june july august september october november december it's it's over the one year gets over isn't it so we just move on to the next january next february is next new year uh new year january february it will be moves on so that is the reason why the people are saying don't waste the time why the people are saying the time is go this is a reason this is a reason because if you waste your one hour it will it will go to the next day we are just losing today if i waste the one hour today yes the today is going today is going next day is arriving it's on the way so we are just wasting one day itself and moving to the next new day so if you keep on wasting the days actually the weeks also get waste isn't it children so that is this is the reason why the people are saying the time is gold okay so time i have told you the time is not related with the numbers the time is actually related with the days weeks months and a year okay so on that today we are going to see about the days of the week so week means a seven days is equal to weeks seven days okay the seven days we what we say seven days is equal to week we say yeah, it's a week so how many days in a week seven days in a week okay children what are how many we are days in a week seven days in a week so how what are the days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so these are the seven days of the week so one one week what how many days in a week seven days in a week so uh, everything in a day the sunday will be the first day in a week the sunday will be the first day and the last the saturday will be the first uh, last day isn't it so always saturday and sunday will be the holiday so we cannot come to the conclusion that monday is the first day not sunday is the first day and saturday is the last day so how many working days are there one two three four five so we have we are working a five work there are a five working days in a week and a two holidays in a week okay so seven days is equal to week okay so one day one day how the time is calculated 24 hours one day is equal to 24 hours once the 24 hours is completed it moves to the next day it moves to the next day so how many days of the week how many days in a week seven days in a week what are the days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday you should learn the days of the week children and of course you have to learn the spelling also so some children will get a struggle of studying or remembering about the spelling like on a monday or tuesday they feel somewhat hot so just break it and read it sun you all know what's a sun sun you all know the sun will come on a sunrise you know the sun isn't it it's on a cloud uh, on a sky so sun day in see here that everything you have a day d a y day d a y day so everything you have a day 
so once you study day day by day you can use it for all seven days remaining six days okay so next morn m on morn so you can easily split and read it next two two is tuesday next wednesday wednesday thursday thursday friday friday sat or day so if you split and study it will be very easy and also very comfortable to remember also okay so why i am telling means na na most of the children was very struggling to memorize the spelling of a, a weeks of the day as well as a months of the year so this is the best solution i think so okay so just split it and read it see here that every uh, days you have a same spelling d a y day d a y day so you up to saturday from sunday to saturday you have a d a y just read it and write it so now you split it and read it and get remember okay so what i told you when day smooths the months will come so how many months of the year one there are 12 months 12 months equal to one year so one year the 12 months is equal to one year so one year how many months are there 12 months are there one year is equal to 12 months so what are the 12 months january february so why you are struggling to uh, uh, um, to learn about the spelling means your pronunciation is not exactly what actually so if you uh, read january february means you will be not very easy to remember the spelling you have to be when when you are studying itself you have to be very clear about your pronunciation see here jan a uh, r e february march you have to stretch it r then only you know oh there is an r march so instead of march you say march means you cannot find the r in a march okay so march april may june july here i am stretching the l july august august september october now ember dc ember december so you have to be read with the correct pronunciation then it will be very very easy to remember the spelling of the months children okay hope you all feel very easy isn't it okay so how many months of the year there are a 12 months of the year what is there what is the first months of the year january is the first month of the year what is the last month of the year december december is the last month of the year totally how many months in a year 12 months in a year so you have a special occasion on a each and every month isn't it so january is the first month february it's a second month march third month april fourth month may fifth month june sixth month july seventh month august eighth month september ninth month october 10th month november 11th month and december 12th month first second third fourth so may fifth month sixth month seventh month eighth ninth tenth month eleventh and twelfth so there are at twelve months of the year so what is the first month of the year january what is the last month of the year december how many days in a week Seven days in a week. How many months in a year? Twelve months in a year. Okay, children. So you have to be very clear with the spelling also and the ordering also. Okay. Pebbles CBSE Board Syllabus.